Here with the Beef Report, Aaron Arnett. Hello, everyone. This is Aaron Arnett from the Beef Sire Department with your fall 2009 sire update. Obviously, as he has in the past, predestined looks great. He remains the best genetic value in the beef industry. Plus, he's the number eight bull in the breed for dollar beef. Rito 2X15 is still right at the top for dollar W, ranking number three in the main report. He's had a great year in semen sales and will continue for some time because folks appreciate his progeny, particularly his daughters. They're not too big, they are easy fleshing, and have great udder attachments. Big Eye added quite a bit of data and held on to his previous high rankings for both ribeye and dollar beef. His 68.55 figure puts him in elite company, ranking him number 19 in the entire Angus population for dollar B. 50-50 backed up a little for dollar B, but he still ranks in the top 1% for this trait. Study his data, low birth weight, high growth, and high dollar values, plus he's still the number one bull for disposition in the entire sire summary. His kind are sought after in lots of progressive programs. Total's biggest change was with his milk EPD, where he now stands at 31. He added over 60 daughter records and moved down from plus 39. This is a good thing. This figure invites more people to the party because his previous milky PD was plenty high. Immaculate in their utter design, gentle, fast-growing, and attractive, total progeny continue to gain a serious foothold wherever great cows are valued. Mandan added more progeny and improved in several areas. He moved lower for birth weight, higher for yearling weight, and gained lots of ground for ribeye EPD while moving higher for dollar beef. He can sire extreme style with good performance, ranking him in the top 10% for dollar W, top 15% for dollar beef. If his first daughters in production are any indication, his stock as a superior female sire will keep going up. Danny has been one of our high-selling, low-birth-weight bulls thus far in 2009. His growth data held up, and so did his stats for dollar W and dollar B. Wide-based and moderate for size, Danny Daughters have near-perfect udders and an expansive midsection, and his pedigree offers our customers something different. Hawk now has enough data to finally get some respect. He ranks in the top 5% for dollar W, top 2% for dollar beef, and has a plus 9 for calving ease direct. And he's minus for yearling height. We continue to see Hawk offspring in our YSP herds, and they are consistently good. With additional data, Hawk moved from 53 all the way up to $61 B. Prediction has enough data now to show up in the main report, and show up he does. He is the number three bull in the breed for $B. This predestined son will add more frame than his daddy, and on smaller cows he makes a great fit. He balances calving ease direct, growth, and value traits just like his sire. Selective has been a feature among calving ease choices this year, and with his additional data, he solidified his position as one of the great ones. At a plus 15 for calving ease direct and minus 1.5 for birth weight, Selective rises to the top quickly among low birth weight bulls. Add this to his high values for both dollar W and dollar B, he's the only one, and there's not anyone who's close. Rito 6EM6 garnered additional proof and held on to superior calving ease data with rapid early growth. He moved up for marbling, while his ribeye EPD went down slightly. Customer comments continue to be extremely positive. 6EM6 is a definite phenotype improver. Game On added more data and got better. He moved up from 60 to 65 for dollar B while maintaining his birth weight and growth stats. Most who see Game On agree he is one of the most impressive bulls in our program. He is deep, thick, and not too tall. Basically, he is a power bull. New Day 454 didn't add lots of data, but he sure looks super with what he has. He's now 66 for dollar beef, and the rest of his figures are not too shabby. We took a new picture of 454 recently, and we think you and our customers will like the way the bull looks. He's moderate in size, at 55 inches at the hip, superbly sound-footed, and way more muscular than the average Angus bull. And he's about as gentle as any bull we have.